cab driver is afraid of this place. People are afraid of Transylvania because they believe all those stories about vampires, werewolves, witches, and ghosts. Do you believe in them? Well, I think the stories are fun, but they're just stories. They're not real. And that's where the stories about vampires started. Castle Bran. That's where we're going. Being in the castle will be like being in the story. How much fun is that? Oh no you don't. If I'm going, you're going. So cool! A screaming doorbell. <laughs> it's it's just a doorbell that screams. <gasps> ah! Ah! Oh, sorry, forgot the lights. Oh, you startled us. We're here to see the castle. I'm Annie. This is Ben and Manco. Sure, come on in. I'm. Lead. This is so great, Vlad. I really like your cape. May I take a selfie with you? Sure. Hey, you're not in the picture. You're right. You can't take pictures of vampires. They're so silly. They think you're a vampire. But I am a vampire. Why do you think I live in this old castle and wear this cape? Are you gonna bite us? Drink our blood? We don't do that anymore. Tomato juice tastes better. Actually, I was going to invite you to my party. I never get any humans to come to my parties. This is my first. This doesn't look very scary. What's scary about having fun? <laughs> ben, I'd like you to meet my friend Bill. He's a werewolf. I'm part of a pack. Would you like to join us? Why? Are you coming apart? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, wow! Werewolves like that joke! The back is gonna like you. Come on. Ben has a new friend. What a cute little monkey. You're a witch, right? It's the hat, isn't it? It always gives me away. I'm Camilla. I'm Annie. This is Mango. Can you do a magic spell, please? I've never seen real magic. Then you love this. Some mango magic. Kazam. <laughs> I think he likes his wings. <laughs> <laughs> game of tag ever! Duck! I mean, winged monkey! Great! Mango's finally having fun! Is it any bobbing for apples? Not exactly. Yeah, she got me. I'm feist. Who's the shrunken head? I am. High five, teammate. Uh, you don't have any hands or arms or a body. Oh yeah, <laughs> I always forget. Cannonball. 
from his fans. Thank you so much, Vlad. Yeah, that was fun. Everyone loved having you at the party. And so you will always remember us, your very own vampire cape. This is perfect. We'll never forget Transylvania. Thank you. <laughs> That's a goodbye I'll never forget. Home sweet home. I love traveling, but it's always nice to come back to my own bed. <laughs> And my rubber squeak bone. I'm tired too, but I want to put our souvenirs on the souvenir wall. Oh my, there are so many of them. Where do I start? The sparkle globe from Atlantis. That was such a wild trip. Mermaids, murdogs, submarines. And a giant squid. It's a giant squid. This way. Does this happen often? Too often. He tears up the street lights and he's so big we can't stop him. Lights? That's all he does is tear up street lights? I think I know why he's here. All done, Mango. Your turn. That's squid talk for thank you. Oh my gosh, the lights in the squid are lighting your entire city. It's just like what you wanted. This is so wonderful. Instead of a problem, the city has a new friend. Yeah, that necklace was a bright idea. Get it? Bright? Like lights? <laughs> You're never too tired for a bad joke, are you, Ben? Hey. Bad jokes are the best jokes. Remember the dog show? First up in the talent competition, the Golden Retriever, Ben! Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I just flew in from Miami, and boy, are my arms tired! <laughs> What's the difference between a guitar and a fish? Woof, woof. You can't tune a fish! Oh, oh, so bad. Bad. Oh, 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 so bad. Oh, it's so bad. Oh, another. So, speaking of fish, what do you get when you cross a fish and an elephant? What, Ben? Woof, woof. Swimming trunks. Woof, woof. Oh. 
Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Dog show audiences are the best audiences in the world. I didn't win, but I had a great time. And you got me a trophy. You needed a trophy because I always think you're the best. Wu Jing! This was from Wu Jing, the Chinese magician. Thanks to Ben, his pet dragon got its pearl back. If I know what the pearl smells like, I could find it. What does your pearl smell like? Dragon's breath. Mm. I've never smelled a dragon's breath. <laughs> <laughs> you know, everybody talks about bad dog breath, but dragon breath is lots worse. That's perfect. Smoke! You're right, Mango. Wu Jing's dragon isn't the only dragon we met. There was smoke in Krakow, Poland. Mango! I mean, Mango has smoke! Follow that dragon! <laughs> Come on, Mango! Just remember the part where we found smoke was a nice dragon. Yeah, he was just tired and scared, but we found him a safe place to sleep. Remember Pookie? Yeah, Frankenstein and Pookie, a monster movie star and his monster dog. Who could forget them? They didn't want to leave their home in the Tower of London. They thought everyone would be afraid of them. Until we took them to Hyde Park to meet other people with dogs. Woof, woof. Everybody's coming with their dogs. Get ready! It's a monster! And a monster too! <laughs> the dog's gonna eat us! Now! Throw the ball, Frank! Yeah. Wow! Hey, aren't you Frank and Stein? I love your movies! Oh, I love his movies too! You're a fabulous actor! Can I get They're not scared! They like Pookie. They like me. However, did you know? Dog people like other dog people, no matter how big they are. And who doesn't like a movie star? What else do we have, Annie? Ta-da! My vampire cape. Vlad gave you that in Transylvania. Yeah, but I wore it at the comic book convention in San Diego, California, too. Who knew vampire boys liked comic books? Especially the number one issue of Captain Fang. Whoa, with all these people around? Oh, no! The number one issue! It's gone! Mr. Krantz is really upset. I'm really upset. It was here just a minute ago. I saw it. How could someone take it with all these people around? I don't know. But I know what Captain Fang would do. He'd find it! Come on, you're my sidekick, Fangy. There's no Fangy sidekick in Captain Fang. There is now. Captain Fang and Fangy will solve this mystery. And we did solve it. And Lenny Kranz put Vlad and me as Fangy in his next comic book as a reward. You know, we've met a lot of people who aren't supposed to exist. And they were all nice. Yeah, like Eddie the Yeti from the Himalayas, Enrique the Chupacabra from Puerto Rico, and Jack the Jackalope in New Mexico. Wow, we've met so many. You're gonna be in the contest, aren't you? I wish. They won't let me compete. They say I don't exist. I've lived here all my life and nobody will admit I'm real. I'm sorry, we didn't know you were real, Mr. Chupacabra. Hey! That's not my name. Is your name Little Girl? 
And you guys, are you dog and monkey? No. The name's Enrique. Pleased to meet you. I thought you said they were make-believe. Who's make-believe? Not me. Don't tell anybody. How you doing? I'm Jack A. Lope. Or Jack Lope, if you say it real fast. Uh, pleased to meet you? Of course you are. I'm a great guy. You, you, you know what some of the best trips were? No, Ben. What? Birthday trips. Woof, woof. Mango's Trophy! Oh, yeah! On your birthday, you got to be the world's fastest monkey! The last run of the day is... Mango! Good luck, little monkey! Go, go Mango, Mango, go! go! Wow! Look at him go! And his car isn't doing anything weird! Mango set a speed record on the Bonneville Salt Flats. I got to be in the New York Dog Show. But your birthday party was huge, Annie. Bring her in for a safe landing, Mango. Woof, woof, woof. <laughs> you guys. Thank you so much. Best birthday present ever. But wait, there's more. What more could you? Oh my gosh. Happy birthday, Annie. All my friends are here. Yeah, we had to come to the Grand Canyon for your birthday, Annie. It's the only place big enough to hold all your friends. That's the last souvenir, guys. Good idea. We'd better rest up for our next trip. Good night, guys. Anchorage, Alaska is just 400 miles from the Arctic Circle. Besides, it has to be cold. <laughs> or there won't be any snow for the annual Iditarod dog sled race. I understood dog sled and race, but what's an I did 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 a rod? It's the Native American word for clear water, and it's the name of the 1100 mile trail the dog sleds race on. Wow! Listen to that! All the dogs just want to go, go, go! Now that bark sounds really familiar. Pookie! And if Pookie's here, so is... Frankenstein! Call me Frank! Where's Mango? We haven't seen you since we met you and Pookie in London. Well, once you showed us that people aren't afraid of us, we've done what you do. Travel. It's Pookie's turn to pick a place, and he chose this. Hey, we can watch the race together. Woof, woof. Actually, Ben, Pookie is in the race, and so am I. Oh, that's so cool. I wish we were in the race, too. Well, we do have room for one more dog and a co-musher. A musher is the human who drives the sled. Mush is giddy up in dog sled talk. There's nothing in the rules that says you can't have a monkey. Hey, Pookie! 
We're snow dogs. <laughs> I'm so glad you could join us. Why? Are you coming apart? <laughs> <laughs> Orphan, I'm sorry to say. Team number six, Frankensled, get ready! This is so exciting! Get set! Go! Mash! <laughs> now that's fast! Big dog, big action, big fun! Curve coming! Like the best roller coaster in the world! Pookie doesn't get many chances to run as fast as he can. It's good for dogs. We've passed all the other dog sleds! Iditarod is supposed to take 9 to 15 days, but I think we're gonna finish it today! Perhaps we can be a gnome by dinner time. Oh, yeah! Hang on! Big! Bump coming! Yahoo! <laughs> wow, Frank! This is just. Oh no! Stop! Halt! Don't mush! Mango! And Frank's head! <laughs> Turn around! We can't leave them out there in the cold! I don't see them anywhere. Please stop turning, Mango. I, I'm getting dizzy. <coughs> yes. <coughs> yes, yes, go on, yes. <coughs> yes. Yes, I'm sure that's an excellent plan, Mango. There's only one problem. I have no idea what you're saying. <laughs> Mango, get Annie! Help! There's Mango! <laughs> oh no! Mango says a polar bear took Frank's head! <laughs> Follow that sled! There he is! Straight ahead! No! Pookie! It's okay! Let's get you back together, Frank! <laughs> <gasps> wow! We got here just in time! This is Paul. He thought Frank's head was a toy. It was rather invigorating, actually. What do you say, Pookie? Can you lend Paul one of your toys? <laughs> We've got our musher's head back. So, on with the race! Goodbye, Goodbye Paul. Paul! Well, the good news is that we've finished in record time. Yay! <laughs> Unfortunately, we didn't win. <laughs> when you left the race to find my head, we were disqualified. That's okay. We had a great time. Pookie and I agree. And we want you to have our racer vest, so you'll always remember this. Ah! It's the Aurora Borealis, the Northern Lights. <gasps> wow. wow! It's incredible, but it's nothing to lose your head over. Right, Frank? Oh, oh bad, bad wow. joke. Oof, oof. That was a very bad joke indeed. Well done, Ben. Well, if he wanted us to bring our submarine, it probably has something to do with Lake Baikal. Igor! <laughs> 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 well, 
welcome to Siberia, my friend. Your email sounded so mysterious. Igor's mysterious. Remember when we met him on the Trans-Siberian train? We thought he was a spy. Strange things have been happening here at Lake Pekal. Well, it is different than other lakes. It's the oldest, largest, and deepest lake in the world. Most of its fish aren't anywhere else on Earth. Do not forget, it is the only lake with seals. <laughs> but lately, people are seeing strange lights and giant lake monsters. Really? There, the light! Gosh, this is the clearest water I've ever seen. You can see 40 meters into the water. It has the clearest water of any lake. It's so clear, even the fish are clear. It is Golomianka. It only lives in Lake Baikal. If it leaves the water, it melts in the sun. <laughs> Mango, dive! <laughs> Light! Your submarine is very fast. Oh no! That light's heading right for those seals! Phew! That was close! It just missed them! Hmm, the seals were not afraid. They were smiling like it's game. You know, the light got out of our way too. And if the seals are playing... It is coming at us again! <laughs> what do we do, Annie? Nothing. Stay right where we are. Huh? Trust me, you'll see. I hope you are right. A lot. Take cover! Uh, Mango, you can let go. It stopped. I figured if the seals weren't afraid, why should we be? Meep, 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 meep. Ellen! <laughs> This alien is friend. Woof, woof. Oh, yeah. We played tag with Alan and his friend Betty on the moon. By any chance, is Betty a giant monster? Yeah. Hey, I'll bet Betty is the giant lake monster people have been seeing. Are you guys playing tag in the lake? Me, 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 me. You know what he's saying, don't you? Nope. But Mango does. And I know what Mango says. You are a very strange group, but I like that. They're playing tag all right. Alan's it, but Betty's hiding really good. Alan's been looking for her for a week. That's when people started seeing the lights in the lake monster. Alan doesn't know where Betty is. Me, 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 me. And Alan says, You're it, Igor. No, no, any is. <laughs> okay, guys, we're gonna be here all day if we start this. We need to find Betty. <laughs> It's been hours! That Betty sure can hide. Hey, why don't I ask the seals if they've seen her? Good idea, Ben. <laughs> they say they haven't seen Betty, but I don't know. <laughs> They 
all seem to think something's funny. I don't get it. Igor, are there a lot of blue islands in Lake Baikal? Niet. In fact, I don't remember seeing this particular island before this week. Tag! You're it, Betty! <laughs> She was hiding in plain sight! Alan's back! Me, 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 me. I don't think this game is over. Goodbye, Alan! Goodbye, Betty! Goodbye, I know I will never forget this, but so you never forget this, I have for you a souvenir. What a beautiful blue rock! I found it here at Lake Baikal, but astronauts also found rocks just like this on the moon. It is called Appetite. I'm glad you didn't give that to me. Why is that, Ben? Because after spending all day chasing aliens, I already have a huge appetite. I'm real hungry. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> oh, Ben, you <laughs> too. Yeah. Get it? Appetite's a rock, and it sounds like appetite. Like, I'm hungry. Get it? Yes, yes, please. <laughs> we just made it. It would have been real bad if we missed this train, guys. Why's that, Annie? Because this is Russia's Trans-Siberian Railway. They started building it over 125 years ago, and now it's the longest train ride in the world. This line is 9,289 kilometers. That is 5,753 miles. It connects Moscow to Vladivostok on the Pacific Ocean. Also Mongolia, China, and Korea. Uh, thank you? Where did he come from? I didn't even hear him. Bye! Yeah, Mango thinks he's a spy, like in an old movie. I think Mango's right. Come on, he's my age. You're thinking like that because you guys watch too many of those spy movies. Don't let your imaginations run away with you. I agree. We'll keep an eye on him. Excuse me, do you mind if I share your table? Not at all. Be my guest. Thank you. I'm Annie. I am Igor. You're right. Igor is a spy name. You sure know a lot about the Trans-Siberian Railway. I am on this train every three months when I visit my grandmother in Vladivostok. Did you write all that down, Mango? I only speak, Monkey. I can't read it. Excuse me, Mango wants to know if you're going to eat that banana. The countryside is beautiful. Siberia is beautiful, but very cold in winter. Do you have any fours? Go fish! I like your hat, Igor. Where did you get it? It was a gift from my grandmother. Now, I have a question for you. Okay, what do you want to know? Why are your dog and monkey doing that? They're playing Spy Train. They watch a lot of old spy movies. So does my grandmother. That is why she gave me this hat. Do you have any eights? Woo! That is a huge lake! And so beautiful! It is Lake Baikal. It is the oldest lake in the entire world. Thanks for the information, Igor. It is also the largest freshwater lake in the world. That's amazing, Igor! Michael is home to more than 1,700 species of plants and animals, two-thirds of which can be found nowhere else in the world. Wow! Igor sure knows a lot about Russia and Siberia. Yeah, he knows how to scare monkeys, too. 
<laughs> you guys are taking this spy game way too seriously. We've never been on a train that stopped for a picnic. This food is delicious. That is kasha, traditional Russian porridge. My grandmother makes better. What does traditional mean, Annie? That means the people have been doing it a long, long time, Ben. Oh, I get it. Like eating is traditional with me. Woof. <laughs> sure, I can sniff Igor's bag. <laughs> if Igor's got spy secrets in his bag, then spy secrets smell like fish. <laughs> Hello, Annie. Hi, Igor. Could you tell Ben and Mango it's time for bed? Ben. Mango. Bedtime. Okie doke. Good night, Igor. We'll spy on you in the morning. Bye. Sleep well, everyone. Thanks, Igor. You are welcome. End of the line. We're in Vladivostok. Wow! All the way from Moscow to the Pacific Ocean on one train! All packed! Hey, where's Mango? Don't you have him? Oh my gosh! We have to find him before the train leaves! I'll bet Igor has him! Igor has who? I'll check the closet! Mango's missing and Ben thinks he's hiding in your closet! Well, he has been there before. Nope, no mango. I hope you find him. But before you go, I have something for you. Mango, what were you doing in there? He was playing spy. I think we can stop playing that game now. Oof. So that's what smelled like fish. It is caviar. Fish eggs from sturgeons in the Caspian Sea. My grandmother loves it. Russian caviar is the best in the world and is as valuable as gold. That is why I always keep my bag close. And I have a gift for you, Annie. So you remember your trick. A matryoshka. A matryoshka? It's beautiful. Thank you so much, Igor. These are very special. Matryoshkas are dolls inside of dolls. Each one is smaller than the one before. Dosvidaniya, my friends. That is Russian for goodbye. Dosvidaniya, Igor. Still think Igor is a spy, guys? Well, I don't think he's a spy, but there was something fishy about his bag. Get it? Caviar? Fish eggs? Something fishy? Fishy. Oh, ben, ben, <laughs> Los Angeles and the Sunset Strip. Rock and roll. The La Brea Tar Pits. <laughs> and the Chinese Theater on Hollywood Boulevard. This is where all the stars put their hands and footprints in cement. Like Little Susie Adorable. Wow, Chuck the Super Chimp had huge hands. Look, here's Harvey the Hero Dog. And there's Lupo, the Wolf Guy. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Let me ask. Hey, Annie, the lion wants a burrito from the truck over there. <laughs> That's a funny joke, Ben. It's not a joke. Come on. This is Chet. Chet, this is Annie. And Mango. And I'm Ben. Ben? This isn't a real lion. This is... A real mountain lion. <laughs> You are 
hungry, aren't you, Chet? You aren't gonna eat us, are you? I told you, Annie. He wants a burrito. And they smell great. Woo. Chet says he wants steak and avocado, please. And if they're out of those, he'll take bean and cheese. I'd like one of those myself. Officer Wayne, animal control! Step away from the mountain lion. I'm taking him back to the hills. Hey, that's Ben. The lion went that way. And Mango's with him! Oh, that lion? His name's Chet. Your dog can talk. I speak English and 200 animal languages. Woof. Come on, Ben. We need to get Mango. You know where he's going? He wants a burrito from the truck. Ben just has to follow the great smell of the burritos. I'm making you junior animal control officers. You can lead me to Chet. Do we get badges? A monkey! Get a picture! Oh, 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 Mm. Do they have burritos in the hills? Uh, Officer Wayne, we have a report of a mountain lion and a monkey near the La Brea Tar Pit. Ooh, I want to visit the La Brea Tar Pits. Roger, I'm on my way. Can you get me a burrito while you're there, Wayne? The food truck's parked there at lunch hour. That's why Chet's there. He wants a burrito. Get a picture of the lion statue, Sydney. Got it. Hey, but what's with the monkey? Monkey? Stay where you are, Chet. Are you okay, Mango? Come on, Chet. I gotta get you back into the hills. You can't stay here. Come on, buddy. That's bad looking water, Annie. It's ancient oil that turned into tar, Ben. It's been here since the Ice Age. Animals got stuck in the tar, and scientists have found their skeletons and fossils from millions of years ago. Come on, Chet. Just move a little, okay? Man, you're so strong. I don't think that's Chet, Officer Wayne. Then where's... Oh, the that statue? Statue? Oh, oh, that's yeah. not a statue, that's a real thing! Oh, oh, no! They're driving off with Chet! We gotta save him! Don't worry, Chet, we're coming! You've got to get the food truck to stop! What if Chet falls off? <laughs> Officer Wayne is on the job! Stop! In the name of animal control! Whoa. Are you guys okay? Yeah, Chet's just a little scared. We need burritos, lots of them, for Chet and us. Uh huh. And a frozen chocolate banana? Of course, Mango. Officer Wayne, Ben's been talking to Chet, and Chet promises to stay in the hills if you bring him a burrito for lunch every day. That's easy. I like burritos, and I like the view from here. Wow! It's just fantastic! Like in the movies! I want you to have these Junior Animal Control badges, so you'll always remember the great job you did helping me and Chet. Thanks, Officer Wayne. 
Pretty cool, huh, guys? Woof, woof. Very cool, Annie. In fact, it's a real Hollywood ending. No joking there, Ben. You're absolutely right. And fade out. <laughs> <laughs> the end. Boy, this forest really rocks, Annie. Get it? Stone forest rock? Oh, bad joke, Ben. But honestly, isn't the stone forest here in China amazing? Once upon a time, this was under a shallow sea. The rocks were layers of sandstone and limestone. Over millions of years, wind and rain wore away the rocks and made them look like a thick forest made of stone trees. I thought I heard familiar voices. Oh, Did you bring your pet dragon? Woof, woof. <laughs> He goes everywhere with me, just like you and Mango are always with Annie. Whoo! Dragon breath beats doggy breath every time. So what's the thousand-year-old Chinese sorcerer doing here? Are you on vacation too? No, I am visiting a friend. Come and meet him. Your friend lives at Rock? Of course. My friend is Sun Wukong, the Monkey King, born from a stone egg, strongest of the fighters, master of the martial arts, legendary prankster. Where is he? All I see is a statue. Oh, my friend has been turned to stone? This has happened before. Sometimes Sun's magical pranks can mm, backfire. Once, he turned into a lion and hid himself in the emperor's palace to scare him. Wow! What happened? The emperor's god caught him and gave him to its circus. We must break this spell and restore Sun to his furry self. How do we do that? We must find... the golden banana. It is the only thing that can break the spell. Where is the golden banana? It is in the heart of the forest, at the top of the center stone. How are we ever gonna get there? We'll take my dragon! This is the only way to fly! Yay! <laughs> Dragon is showing off for you. What's that? That is where we will find the golden banana. Come on! We've got to get that banana for Sun! Oh, sorry. It's Dragon's lunch time. How long have you been friends with the Monkey King? All my life. Sun has been around much, much longer than I have. He was born from a stone egg. <laughs> he is such a terrible prankster. He can turn into anything or anyone he likes. I think this time... He made a mistake and turned himself to stone. There it is! <gasps> Can you use your magic to get the banana? No, there is no such thing as a banana spell. <laughs> Mango's magic power is climbing trees. <laughs> We must get the banana and save my friend! Follow that monkey! 
mangoes on his tail. <laughs> What? We've got to get that banana! Right behind you, Annie! No, don't! That it tickles! <laughs> you you could get lost in there! <laughs> Follow the light, or you'll wind up in another universe! <laughs> there he is! Cut him off, Annie! He's coming your way, I've got him! No, I don't! He's coming your way! You! Uh, how did you find my emergency exit? Quickly, he's getting away! He's heading for the dragon! Wait for me! <laughs> oh no! Oh my gosh! Your dragon sniffed him into his nose! Wow! <laughs> He's going to sneeze! Everyone duck! Son? The, the monkey, monkey king? I told you he likes to play tricks. <laughs> he was the other monkey all the time. <laughs> what is life without friendly pranks? I had a delightful time. Thank you, Honorable Mango. You gave me a wonderful chase. Actually, we're glad you weren't really turned into stone. <laughs> Thank you for your concern. And please accept this as a souvenir of our chase. Thank you for the golden banana. We were worried about you, but it was fun. I don't know, Annie. Things were pretty gloomy for a while. Until the sun came out. Get it, sun? He was in the dragon's nose and then he was sneezed out. Oh, <laughs> and bad joke. Uh, that is a very terrible joke. Oh, I, I do not understand this. Please explain to me again. We're traveling under the ice of Antarctica. How cool is that? Get it? Ice? Cool? Oh, bad, bad joke. There, Captain Mango. The ice is thin enough. Wow. See how the sunlight shines through from above? <laughs> we finally made it. Antarctica. It's summer in the South Pole. Summer? But it's December. In the northern part of the Earth, it's winter. But south of the equator, it's summer. Uh, what's an equator, Annie? The equator is the imaginary line that separates the northern part of the Earth from the southern part. During the months of June, July, and August, in the north, the Earth is tilted towards the sun and it's warm there. During the months of December, January, and February, the southern part of the Earth is tilted towards the sun, and it's warmer down here. Uh, this is warm? It is for Antarctica. Right now, it's minus 20 degrees Fahrenheit. That's minus 29 degrees Celsius. No, 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 that's not for you. Male penguins like to give lady penguins gifts. He wanted to give my phone to his girlfriend. Mango wants to know if there are a lot of frozen Vikings in Antarctica. Uh, no. Just that one. We need hot water. Lots of it. Here's some hot soup. It'll warm you up faster. Oh, that is good. Thank you. My name is Lars. I'm Annie. This is Ben, and that's Mango. Do you have any idea how long you were frozen? Hmm. My ship got stuck in this ice in 915. Wow. That's over a thousand years ago. I must find my ship. No viking is a viking without his ship. A ship? All I see is ice. Oh my gosh. 
gosh! The rest of it is still frozen in the ice! That's going to take a lot of hot soup! Woof, woof! This is great! We should have it out before it gets dark! Don't worry about that, Ben. This is summer in Antarctica. There isn't any dark. The sun shines all 24 hours of the day. What magic is this that melts the ice so quickly? It's a hair dryer. A lot has happened since you froze. Ah, I like this modern world. Like a warm trade wind in the South Pacific. <laughs> What's Mango talking about? He made an opening for Lars's ship. I can return to the sea and explore. Hi, Lars, son of Redbeard and Ingeborg. Oh yeah? I'm the son of Goldie and Fluffy. Vikings were really big about telling everyone about their families. They call it a Norse catalog. Who went forth to join with Hrothgar the Horrible? Who found the kitten, Stanislaus the Cute? You can wake up! I'm done! Oh, we're sorry we fell asleep, Lars. Don't worry about it. It happens every time. I'm just going to get my sunstone, and I'm off exploring again. I... Uh, my sunstone! It's gone! What's a sunstone? It is how Vikings know where we are going, by using the light of the sun. Here, use my compass. We are at the South Pole. We are at the bottom of the most southern part of the Earth. So everything from here is north. Oh my, I hadn't thought of that. No, that's not for you. I know where your sunstone is. I'll bet a penguin took it. I'm sure one of these guys took your sunstone as a gift for his girlfriend. But there are thousands! How will we find the one who has my sunstone? Yeah, I've never seen a monkey wrestle a penguin. This should be cool. No penguin wrestling. You speak bird. Just ask someone if they've seen it. Woof, woof. Woof, woof. Okay, Larry the Penguin says we should check with Sam. Over that way. Quickly, the sea calls to me. I can't hear anything but penguins. It's here. I found it in the mouth of a penguin. <laughs> <sighs> By Odin's beard, this is a freakishly strong penguin. Maybe he's willing to trade. I'll give you this for that, okay? <coughs> there you go. Once again, I am a true Viking explorer. My sunstone points the way. I cannot thank you enough. But take this, so that you always remember Lars! Son of Redbeard and Ingeborg, grandson of Olaf the Red! <laughs> there he goes with the Norse catalog again! Hey Annie, if that's a catalog, can we find a dogalog? Get it? Dogalog? Catalog? One is for cats, so I want one for dogs! Woof woof, get it? Oh <laughs> Ben, bad joke! <laughs> Welcome to the Bonneville Salt Flats! What other monkey but Mango would want to visit the Bonneville Salt Flats for his birthday? Well, Mango loves cars, and these are the fastest cars on Earth. Mango feels sorry for his Mango-mobile. It can't go as fast as these cars. Well, the Bonneville Salt Flats is for one thing only. To see how fast a car can go. In October of 1997, the Thrust supersonic car was the first car to go faster than sound. 
that's over 760 miles per hour or 1,225 kilometers per hour. It went so fast, it created a sonic boom. Mango wants to know, what's a sonic boom? Sound can only go 760 miles per hour. When a plane or car goes faster than that, it breaks through the sound like sound is a solid wall. And breaking the sound wall makes a loud boom. Okay, Mango wants to break the sound barrier. <laughs> I can see that, but I don't think the Mango Mobile can go that fast. Hey, it's Alan the Alien! Wow, Alan came all the way from outer space to give you a birthday present. Alan's such a good friend. Yeah, he's out of this world. Get it? Alan's an alien, so he's out of this world. <laughs> Bad joke, Ben. Ooh, what did Alan give you, Mango? I want to see. A rocket engine? What are you going to do with a rocket engine, Mango? Please welcome Mango and the Mango Mobile. Mango wants to become the world's fastest monkey. Mango, I really don't think taping the rocket engine to the Mango Mobile is a very good idea. I think Annie's right. Blast off! Uh oh. That cannot be good. <laughs> Wow, Mango really wants to make this work. Yeah, but that's nothing compared to the work it took to build this place. How long did it take? And how many salt shakers did they have to empty? Oh, Ben, this wasn't made by people. It was made by nature. This was once a huge salt lake, six times saltier than the ocean. Then the water dried up and left a perfectly flat layer of salt. In 1912, they discovered this was a great place to see how fast cars can go. Once again, hoping to become the world's fastest monkey, Mango! Go, go Mango! mango! <laughs> Annie, why are Mango's wheels getting bigger? Uh, because when you go that fast, tires get hot. And when they get hot, the air inside makes them blow up like... Balloons! He's heading for outer space! Danger! Danger! Save the monkey! Oh, thank goodness Alan put a parachute in the rocket! He sure knows Mango! Solid rubber tires. No air inside. What could go wrong this time? It's Mango. Don't ask. Okay, Mango. This is it. You can do this. You will be the world's fastest monkey. Oh, yeah. 
The last one of the day is Mango! Good luck, little monkey! Go, go Mango, go! go! Wow! Look at him go! And his car isn't doing anything weird! He broke the sound barrier! Woof, woof, woof! He's the world's fastest monkey! Congratulations to Mango, the world's fastest monkey! Wow, that trophy is a great souvenir! And here's the perfect ending to a perfect day. Birthday cake! And I've got one more gift for you. Uh-huh. Why are you giving Mango glue, Ben? Well, he broke the sound barrier. I thought he might want to glue it back together. Get it? Broke? Glue? <laughs> <laughs> Bad job, Ben. It's Stonehenge, Ben. It's been here on the Salisbury Plain in England for 5,000 years. And nobody knows just who built it. It's so mysterious. I've always wanted to see it. And today is the summer solstice, the longest day of the year. The sunrise today is supposed to be really spectacular. Uh, uh, one side, please. Coming through. Uh, uh. <sighs> Blimey, this is hot work. Yeah, mm -hmm. that should do it. Excuse me? Can you move the rock here? We were told not to touch anything. Yeah, well, I'm no tourist. I built this place. But this was built thousands of years ago. Tell me something I don't know. Time's different for me. 5,000 years to you is like five days for me. You're an alien. I know that. Like our friend Alan. Hey, do you know Alan? <clears throat> Does Alan have a spaceship? Uh-huh. Don't know him. He's a spaceship alien. I'm a teleporter alien. Mm, what? Teleporter me, Nanny? He's saying he can go from one place to another almost like magic. But that's... Impossible? Not for me. I just need help with the big jumps. That's why I built Stonehenge. It's a teleportation booster. <clears throat> it's the only way I can get across the galaxy and back home. Could you guys help me, please? Uh, I'm in kind of a hurry. Oh, sure. I'm Annie, and this is Ben and Mango. I'd help, but I only have paws. Why are you in such a hurry, Richard? Drop it here. Well, after 5,000 years, today I teleport home. Why today? Today's your summer solstice. The sun rises right behind that stone, and that points the way home. If everything goes right, when the sun reaches the tip of that rock, I'm out of here. Why didn't you leave before now? I've been trying. People keep messing it up. In 1550 BC, it was the Druids. They turned it into a temple, mucked about with it too much so, teleported themselves to the planet Phlebe in the Gork Galaxy. Nice place, by the way. But the Romans in 43 AD, they were the worst. They took the stones and used them for walls and roads. Took me forever to get them back here. Ugh, a hundred or so years ago, Queen Victoria was having picnics here. You can't just ask a queen to move so you can drop a 200 pound rock where she's sitting, can you? I finally have all the parts, and if I could put this thing back together, I'll get to see Uncle Neddy tonight! Well, let's get to work then! You know, humans thought that the Stonehenge had to do with the stars in the sky. Well, the rocks are pointing to different stars, but that's so I can teleport to those places. So, why did you build it here? Power. Can't run a teleporter without power. Earth has these lines of energy called ley lines. 
the Chinese called them dragon lines. Where these lines cross, there's a bunch of special supernatural energy. Oh, enough to power your teleporter. Exactly. No ley lines, no power. No power, no trip home. Whoa, it's getting late. In 15 minutes, I'm shooting my atoms across space for homemade Gurnby and a glass of brash. I don't know what Gurnby and brash are, but they sound delicious. Uh, no, no. Uh, thanks, but no thanks. Uh, teleporting aliens and bananas do not get along, trust me. You know... I'm glad you three were here. It made this easier and a lot less lonely. We love making new friends. And who wouldn't want to help you? You mean besides the people who run and scream at the sight of an alien? Here, I want you to have this. Thank you. What a nice rock. Not just a rock. It's like a phone. We can call you? Just press squiggly thing and star. I'm on speed dial. Ah, banana! Richard! Wow, that's a big banana problem he's got. Somebody stop me! Jump on him! Stop him! Coming through! Ah! I think Mango's got this. He's very good with bananas. Coming your way! Are you okay? Yes! Thank you, Mango! Everything's all messed up! And it's getting late! Quickly, everyone! We must put it back in order! I think this one goes in the end! I've got a small square one! The smallest ones go in the last row! This is the master rock! It goes in the middle! We're almost done! Keep coming! Keep coming! Use that mango muscle! You're almost there! Now, drop it! Uh-oh! I've got T minus 10 seconds and counting! Nine! Where's eight, mango? Seven! Six! Quick! Five, His foot's stuck! Four, but mango three, will go with Richard! Two, Run! One! All I can say is, wow! Hello? Richard? It's Richard! He made it home okay! Hey, tell him Ben says, you rock! Woo, woo, woo. Oh, bad joke, Ben! <laughs> Get it? Richard had rocks. You rock? Get it? That's a very bad joke, Ben! I can't wait to tell Uncle Neddy.